In this session, we are analyzing a table for eigenvalue buckling. We will start by double clicking on static structural. We will first go to engineering data. You can choose any material that you want to use. I am using stainless steel here. I will go back to project, update project. Next, I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modeler geometry. Units, I'll change it to millimeter. XY plane, look at. I'll go to sketching. First, I will use rectangle to make the table. I will give dimensions, say it is a square table, so I will choose 100 by 100. I will go to modify and use fillet. I will use fillet on all the corners. Next, I'll go to extrude. Let me give the thickness as 20 mm. Generate. Now, on the lower portion, I am going to make a new plane. Generate. I'll go back to sketching. I'll use rectangle. I'll draw the four legs. I'm going to give it some dimension. Say it is 9 mm. I'll give few more dimensions. That is the distance between these two sides for each of them. Say this distance is 2.5 because this distance is also 2.5. So I will also set this dimension to 2.5. Let me give this distance as well. Next, I'll go to extrude. Let me give the depth as 80. Generate. So, I have made a very simple model of a table. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to geometry and solid and change this material to stainless steel. You could have used polyethylene as well if it's a plastic table like in the previous example that we have taken. I'll go to mesh. I'll change the sizing to fine. Update. I'll then go to analysis settings. Insert fixed support. I'll choose 
the lower portions of the legs of the table apply and on this surface I am going to apply some force I will change vector to component this direction is z so let me apply 1500 newton I'll go to solution and insert deformation total also I'll insert stress equivalent You can see the deformation on this table and you can see the results and this is the stress developed on the body. So this is as far as the static structural part is concerned. Next I will go to eigenvalue buckling and drag it over the solution. I will double click on setup. I'll go to analysis settings and change the mode to 3. In solution, I'll insert deformation total for mode 1, 2 and 3. I'll go to solution and solve. This is the total deformation. For the first mode, you can see the load multiplier is 398.12. So you are going to multiply this with the load that you have applied, that is 1500 Newton. And when you multiply both, whatever value you get, at that value, you can see this sort of buckling. Since the material is stainless steel, hence your table is more safe. You won't see a buckling that easily. And this is for the third mode you can see the load multiplier is 447.01 so that's how you solve and analyze a table for its buckling phenomena i hope you have understood the procedure for solving this sort of analysis if you have any doubt please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.